I want boobies, I want ass, I want beautiful girls. My husband, and then I go over and I'm holding your hand, and then he's just gonna beat the frame. When you laugh like that, it makes me know what you'd sound like when you come. <laughs> that, that is the epitome of direct game. <laughs> Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from girlschase.com. Here to talk about, talked about? <laughs> no, three. Actually no, we did, <laughs> we did talk about it already. We already made a video about this and uh, we recorded it perfectly. It was actually really funny. And I was on top of my game. I'd made like seven videos already. So I was just really fast and witty. But then we went to go edit it and the screen recorder for the video that I'm reviewing, uh, it wasn't working. Apparently, as soon as we started the video, it turned it off. So we got to do this again. So yeah, this is about Russell Brand. Uh, in my opinion, he's one of the highest value guys on earth when it comes to overall value, sexual value, social value, et cetera. I'd put him and Jason Momoa up there in the top. Obviously, I'd put myself in the top too because you should always believe that you are the best. Uh, but when it comes to like celebrities, um, Russell Brand and Jason Momoa, they have totally different um, approaches. Jason Momoa is ultra masculine and Russell Brand is ultra uh, feminine and that allows him to be a little bit more sexual. Whereas Jason Momoa is just more, he's always receiving the sexuality so he doesn't even have to kind of put it out. Uh, but that's his shtick and he makes it work. And so I would say that if you're gonna emulate anyone, if you have a more outgoing, vibrant personality or even feminine personality, or you wanna try direct sexuality, this is how you do it. Because direct sexuality requires you to be in one way so brazen because you're being sexually direct. You know, I wanna fuck you, I wanna kiss you, I wanna make babies with you, exchange genes, you're gonna see all of his different uh, lingo for that. But at the same time, you need to have her at ease. Um, so someone like Jason Mawa doing it, he'd make it work because he's just really cool like that. Um, but for a lot of guys trying to pull it off with also the tall, buff, masculine frame, it might be too much. Whereas Russell Brand kind of makes her feel safe because he's so feminine and so girly, but he's so empathetic. That's his biggest thing is his, em his empathy, his ability to read her facial expressions and her body language and her vocal tonality to see if she's okay with what he's doing so he can take it step by step. But it seems like one big seamless process where he's just being super ultra sexual. But as you're gonna see, he's always making sure things are okay and he's tiptoeing towards uh, the next step. And that's what makes him so brilliant and what makes him immune to a lot of this Me Too stuff and a lot of this, uh, oh, you're creepy stuff because he's always paying very close attention um, to how the girl is feeling. And so I really want you to focus on that. So. Let's get straight to it. I feel like I'm in a cartoon in which someone's about to get seduced. <laughs> Not me. Right. Already immediately. Chase frame. Someone's about to get seduced. Whether it's me or it's her. Me. Maybe I'm me. I'm a very good girl. Are you good? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think God would give you that body and then uh, give you sort of morality. Stop. Are you married? Perfect no. response. Are you in a sexual relationship? No. <sighs> then there's hope. <laughs> Okay, I can't fight he's getting her availability. <laughs> you don't need to. We can work out some sort of arrangement. It's good that I've got both your hands. Is it getting on your nerves? No, it's cold. I enjoy it. I'm all... He's grabbing both of her hands um, and he's pulling it to her. So it's a power move, you know, when she has her hands on his legs. So he has the, the control here and he's got both her arms. So it's kind of like being tied up during sex. Uh, so, um, you know, if I'm next to a girl, and I'm like, hey, da 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 da, and I grab her hands and pull it to mine. When it, whenever you have something close, you're in control. That's the masculine thing. Like when you're getting your dick sucked, you kind of want to hold her head close and your elbows in, almost like a Muay Thai grip. You know, if you want to see the video on how to get a blowjob, I'll put it in the link in the description. Uh, but it's all about power, and the girl wants to feel helpless, but she's the one who allowed herself to be helpless. So uh, here he's checking in on her. Like I'm doing such a dominant move on live television, but I want to check up on you. But he did it with a, in, in a humor, uh, a humorful, <laughs> uh, a funny way. <laughs> and um, obviously she's comfortable, but by broaching the subject with humor, like, oh, are you, know, are you okay with this? And then she'll say, oh yeah, I'm cold. So it's okay. He's, he, by checking in on her, he's making her feel more comfortable. Yet he's still being so aggressive. I mean, you are. You are. All your cold. Cold. They, they are actually quite warm. Uh. However, <laughs> ah, oh. ooh, yeah, ooh. See, 
he adjusted to the mood. He's he's making light of it because um, she was uh, a little flustered by the comment, like, "Are your tits uh, cold?" And she's like, "Oh no, they're quite warm." And then he just he, he felt that energy. You know, it's not like you hear this joke and you start going up and down, right? Like you feel. Um, well, he's a comedian, so he's just always on it. But he felt the energy and and saw an opening for a joke there. And humor is a great way to make direct sexuality so much more uh, calm and and tolerable. Uh, and she won't be offended by it because you're 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 kind of sneaking in humor with it. And so you're diffusing the tension right at the moment where she might get creeped out. So I hear you're a very traditional guy that you all those critters. If by traditional you mean sex mad, then mm. yes. Absolutely no relevancy whatsoever, but he's just sticking to his frame. Uh, and obviously she's still uh, talking about sex. You're traditional, which means one, one woman, uh, one guy. So he's staying on the sexual thread, but he's just totally making it his own. He's always in control of the frame. You have to move out of your chair and- Catherine is welcome to No, she's here. not, it's not, no. Don't do it, trust me, don't do it, there's nothing. For the, don't even say for the queen, you We're can't. Do don't for say for the queen. For the queen! No, I don't say that. Please, Russell, Russell. You're beautiful. Russell, please. Oh, thank you. Should I just sit here? Sure. Please I'll just be here. Russell, look away. With my sexual charisma. Oh, thank Russell. You. So what you notice is that as she was coming on, he's just, boom, he's on. He's like, oh, hello. Hi, how are you? And, and, and like a little kid, like, I want, I want boobies. I want ass. I want beautiful girl. And that childish, like, innocence mixed with, obviously, adult sexuality is a perfect mix. And I love doing it. I'll be with girls. and be like, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, I want to stick my dick in your mouth. Oh, I want to fuck you so bad. You're so sexy. Oh. You know, and so... I'm being so childish, but then so sexual and adult and aggressive and manly, but she feels comfortable while I'm doing it. And and always see how he was paying attention to see if she's okay. And she was she was she was shying away from him, but then slowly was kind of still letting him flirt with her so aggressively, and that's because she's married. Uh and what you're gonna find out is that uh obviously she doesn't care that much about being married. Um, not only does she flirt with him so brazenly and sit on his lap, but uh, he's going to make very sexual jokes and she's going to laugh at them. If you have a girlfriend or a wife and some guy makes really direct sexual jokes at her and she just laughs and doesn't put them off in any way, uh, that's not a good sign. And this was a um, premonition uh, of sorts because she ended up cheating on her husband with her uh, producer or director of a movie that, or something that she worked on. So... But the, the biggest thing was his empathy and making sure she's okay. And then she sat on his lap. So that was the confirmation. She was playing hard to get and then boom, she was on it. Yes. Literally. Were you thinking about something? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about something. Because as you know, I've announced it. I find Catherine very attractive. <laughs> then when she said exchange numbers, I thought things that I'd like to exchange with her. <laughs> <laughs> numbers! Numbers. And jeans. In number, all right, now you can't, Genetic uh, info. Data. <laughs> yeah. What is happening right yeah, now? Yeah, Genetic info. Yeah, that's all right. It's, uh, it's and I, when I say we, I mean my husband. Yeah, but you, you know, look at the way you... She said my husband, but see? Look at her, look at her hand. Look at, this shit is on his leg. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Genetic yeah, info. Yeah, that's all right. It's, uh, it's, and I, when I say we, I mean my husband. Yeah, but... Boom. It, and they're holding hands. <laughs> so my husband, and then I go over and I'm holding your hand, and then he's just gonna beat the frame. Uh, you, you know, look at the way you drop the jets. You could drop that guy any day. <laughs> Russell, no, Russell, no, Russell, absolutely, stop dancing. Turn stop. and face the change. No, no, no. Changes. Turn and face the change. Ch -ch -ch changes. He's unbelievable. Jimmy Fallon's such a fucking. Sometimes he's a goober. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Well, I heard that when he gets uh, like drunk after hours with, you know, after he's pretending to be nice on TV and he goes out with friends, he's like a savage motherfucker. But he can't be like that on uh, late night TV. Um, but it, sometimes he's such a beta. Uh, he's just repeating what Russell said, like verbatim, to kind of diffuse the tension. Like if you don't know what to say, you're just like, oh yeah, and you repeat what they're saying and you go, ha oh, <laughs> because you're so flustered by social anxiety or nervousness or awkward uh, tension that you just start blurting shit out. And it's not helping the case of uh, Jimmy's attempted white knight. Um, it's just 
further demonstrating that no one can really hold frame with Russell. I'm only joking, you must never destroy a marriage unless you're really bored. <laughs> When I was younger, I would have probably been found ideas like a uh, pickup artistry attractive. Yeah. But when you get a little more sophisticated, you realise that there is no way of tricking anybody into doing things that they don't want to sure. do. That can... That's not what we teach. He was, doesn't do his research properly. This is a while ago. This is back like five, six years ago. And that was when all the like pickup art artist hate really started and people kind of painted it as this thing where you... If you're watching this and you don't know my channel, you know, you're new to my videos and you kind of have preconceptions about pickup, this is not what we teach. Just watch a few of my videos. We teach you how to think about women, how to act in general, but we're not teaching you like how to actually specifically, you say this and she gets fucking wet in three seconds because you use some fucking Jedi mind trick. That's not what we do. Uh, if I could explain it in one way, we teach a process. That's it. We just teach you a process and a mentality. So you should see women this way, like you should see women as sexual creatures. Uh, yes, they're human beings with personalities, duh, but that's not mutually exclusive uh, from seeing her as a sexual being. You can see her as both. And it's your right to see a beautiful woman and say, I want to fuck her, and then go after her with that intention. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, women do it all the time with men. Uh, so uh, mentality uh, and a process. In a process of, okay, I find a, a girl beautiful, I go up and say hi. Hi, I think you're beautiful. Um, hey, I'd like to get a coffee with you. Okay, cool. Then you text her to get her on a coffee. Uh, you pick a place that's conducive to conversation, that's quiet so you can get to know each other. Basic stuff, but a lot of people don't follow these simple processes and then they make their own dates so much more difficult. And then when you get on the date, what do you talk about? Uh, how do you talk about something that she finds interesting, that you find interesting? Um, you make some jokes, you make sure that, you know, you, you have confident body posture and that you look her in the eyes and that you have a sexy voice and that you're, uh, you're exuding confidence via your body language and your voice. And you're truly trying to get to know her. You're curious. So you're asking questions that are not just the normal questions. You ask questions that are that demonstrate you're actively listening to her and you're really listening to what she's saying because you asked a question that can only be asked because you're truly paying attention because you remember what she said five minutes ago and da da da. You're actively involved in the seduction. And then you recognize when she's ready to go home or you offer another date and then you continue that process until you get her home and you have sex with her. And we teach you that process here at Girls Chase in these videos so you can like, subscribe and ring the bell. But if you want a simple, easy to follow, easy to execute, easy to understand process all in one course, we have that for you in one day. In the description below, you can check out one day. It's a course with me and my mentor Chase, where we teach you how to take everything from A to Z, from saying hello to her to saying goodbye to her because you just came in her mouth after a beautiful day together. So if you want a hookup, if you want a relationship, uh, sex should still be your goal even if you want a relationship and we explain all of that in the course uh, But if you want casual sex, you want a lot of partners, you want one girlfriend, you want a wife, the mother of your children Doesn't matter. You still have the same process to get them there in the beginning And that means saying hello to them, getting a date with them, and then sleeping with them, and then doing whatever after And if you want a seamless, uh, streamlined, easy to understand course Check out one date in the description below and we'll get you some girls and get you some girlfriends So that's not an accurate representation of pickup, but it's okay. I'll forgive him. Let's keep going. It wouldn't be anything but negative for both parties involved. So, so what is your secret? Uh, my secret is that I know that within you there is a limitless divine beauty and within me as well. It's a pickup line. I mean, it's, he's, not, he's, he's just doing game, but he's doing game where he's talking about uh, higher ideals, your divine feminine presence and my divine masculine. And it's, that's cool and it's true and I actually like talking to girls about some of that. But for him to pretend that he's doing anything different than what most pickup artists are doing is, he, he's just being cheeky. And if I connect with that, there will be a And you as well. And Chris, the guy. I hate Chris Cuomo, so I'm totally happy that Russell Brand is making him his little bitch. Now, Russ, I'm, I'm nervous to ask this, but you did say at the start of the year that you were considering attempting celibacy. Is that something that you have continued with? What time do you finish work? <laughs> you, what are you? Fifi you... box. <laughs> when you laugh like that, it makes me know what you'd sound like when you come. That, that is the epitome of direct game. 
it's kind of hard for a lot of guys to figure out when to be sexual because I'll teach them, hey, you know, just tell her you want to put your dick in your mouth. And then their confusion, obviously, is like, okay, when do I say that? And I've always tried to come up with smooth ways to transition into it. But I'll be very frank. Um, the best way to do it is just once she's showing the emotions of comfort and she's having fun like this, she's laughing wildly, she's looking at you a lot, she's asking you questions, you probably can throw it out there. And at some point, you just have to randomly do it. And so this is called like a, I don't know, just a frame, you know, flip. Totally changed the script on her. And so she's just laughing wildly. And I don't know if they discussed anything sexually before this, um, but it kind of just has that sexual air. So he gets away with it. But so she's laughing really loudly. And then he just, boom. When you laugh like that, it makes me think you'll sound like that when you come. Totally left field. And as you see, it's going to fluster her, which is a great response. If you are really sexual with girls, sometimes they're not going to know how to respond. They're not going to go, oh, yeah, daddy, please fuck me. They're going to be like, oh, my God, I don't even know how to respond to that. I've heard that tons of times. The girls literally just freeze up and their female uh, strategy algorithm just goes, er, 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 you know, like female.exe stop working. So um, this is a great representation of the direct game. You just fucking throw it out there. You totally derail the conversation and you shock her with sexual value. And I like it. <laughs> is this morning telly? <laughs> yeah. So you can't put that in. About 7 a.m. people just... Hey viewers, <laughs> that's what Fifi sounds like when she comes. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast, you perverts. <laughs> Do you, um... Uh, oh, you've thrown me, but Don't I love worry. it. I love that you, you're throwing me. If you're ever so confused, Fifi, but... She's not used to being thrown. She's obviously a very beautiful... Um, classy, elegant, successful woman uh, who is used to introduce, uh, sorry, in interviewing celebrities and high value people. And so she has a pretty good frame. She has a good control over, you know, how she feels about things, how she thinks about things. She knows how to conduct herself in an interview and speak clearly and not get flustered. Uh, that's the sign of a professional. But if you're even throwing off someone like that, she's going to love it because she, she's like, I love that you're throwing me off because she's not used to men being so witty and sexy and fun that she take they they can take her out of her normal day-to-day -day robotic yep go to work do this do an interview he is a breath of fresh air and that's what a seducer and a lover of woman do uh women does is he is a breath of fresh air and a new adventure in her life and unlike the other losers in her life that kind of just worship her and are yes men for her he throws her off, and she's the one who's uncomfortable and nervous around him. Box, pop yourself down on my knee and see if we can't get you pregnant. <laughs> Excellent, and my mum's not watching this morning, so that's a good thing too. Why is your mum not watching? What's she got on? Oh no, she's busy. She's away with a friend at the moment. Bring her in! <laughs> I'll take the lot of yous. I'll fuck your mum too. Like, it's such... Uh, it, like, no one could get away with this, except for someone like him or someone like me. I'll fuck your mum too. Come on, like that's brilliant, but he gets away with it because he diffuses it with humor. You've done this. Come on, again. what do you want to know? Got, there's everything I want to know. I want to know. Do you want to come over there to you? No, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> see how he's, was, he was moving in a confident manner towards her, but he was paying attention to see if she's comfortable as he's walking towards her. Come on. Oh, oh my God, he's kissing. Okay. Everything's okay, isn't you, you, it? Yes, you're very He's keeping know, really strong eye contact. You're, quite handsome and you're, you're, looking, on you're on very good looking and you're engaged. So, so she's I'm giving him compliments. It's totally okay. She's comfortable. She's, she's lovely, having fun. She's gorgeous. This is all right, though. I'm allowed to sit on people's laps. Are you? Can I put my hands there? Yeah, that's allowed as well. Come in here. Yeah. So on the surface, he's like, oh, is this okay? But then he's obviously on her lap, so he's totally cool with it. And she's hugging him. She called him handsome, so you know you're totally cool. I do this with girls sometimes. I'd love to sit on their lap. Uh, either like, you know, uh, they're Santa and I sit like this and I just go, hey, babe, and I put my arm around them. I give them a kiss, uh, act like a little kid, uh, or I'll do this where I straddle them. And it's very, very effective because it flips the dynamic like she's kind of the man, but you're doing it in such a cheeky way that you're not like less manly because uh, obviously you're fucking sitting on her and, and it can easily turn into you kissing her. Okay. Oh, right. Now you're going to see he's going to try and see if he can kiss her like on the lips. There you go. <laughs> Fifi Box is pregnant now. Oh, wow. He was about to go for the kiss, but he saw she was a little bit. Yeah. That was a little oh, bit. Oh, good. That's very good. Nice, yeah, that was lovely. That was so lovely. I just turned my cheek, too. That was very professional of me. See, she turned her cheek. She, she, she even voices it because she wanted to kiss him, but she's like, oh, okay, I was professional and I turned my cheek. So 
um, obviously he's not gonna straight up mount the bitch, or he literally did mount the bitch, but he's not gonna like obviously pull her pants down and start fucking her right here and now, though he was very close and if they weren't around, he totally could have done it and I'm sure he'll fuck her later. So um, that just shows you the power of direct sexuality. Uh, mixed with his more feminine, flamboyant um, uh, personality and also his humor, those two things, his femininity and his humor. And then obviously fucking his good looks and his hair and his fashion and his wealth and his status, Duh, that all helps. Um, but there's tons of famous rich people who can't do that, right? So if that's your excuse, you're full of shit. So femininity, humor mixed with extreme sexuality and, and the sexuality doesn't become creepy. And the empathy. He's always paying attention, always seeing if she's okay, if she's comfortable. Uh, and that's what a lover of women does. Um, he's very direct, he's very sexual. He wants to fuck her in her holes. Uh, and to some extent, he sees her as a sexual object. And there's nothing wrong with that. Women very much enjoy it to, to see as sec be seen as sexual objects and fucked like a whore. Um, but they also want to be seen as people, obviously, too. And so he, he demonstrates that by having beautiful conversation and and, and gets to the crux of things and kind of uh, pushes past the social barriers of normal bullshit, boring conversation. Uh, and so mixing all that together, he is a fucking phenomenal seducer and a phenomenal lover of women. And so if you have a personality similar to his and uh, you want to emulate Russell Brand, I highly suggest it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Remember to check out One Day in the description below for an easy to execute process to get you more girls. Follow me on Instagram and go fuck yourself.